I'm Dr. Donald Moulds, board certified plastic surgeon in Newport Beach, California. I was asked to discuss an article on adipose, meaning fat component transplantation. Fat grafting or fat transfer uses fat harvested or removed from unwanted areas of the body to augment areas of deficiency. In this case, the fat components were used to improve facial volume and aesthetics. Traditionally, fat is removed, washed, and purified to be transferred as a whole unit to a new location. Here it recruits nutrients to survive, becoming a permanent volume solution. Although this technique is not new to aesthetics, there has recently been increased interest in fat transfer due to improvements in fat tissue harvesting, processing, and transplantation techniques that serve to maximize its benefits. The idea for this current study came from how we treat blood donation. Blood is processed and separated into different components that then can be used for different purposes like red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, etc. Fat can be treated similarly in that it can be subjected to various mechanical processing during surgery to yield components that differ in physical and biological features and can be used for different indications, enabling selective transplantation. The authors in this study harvested fat from 78 participants who were to undergo adipose component transplantation. The fat was separated into four components. The high density component, which was shown to have a high retention rate, was used for large volume augmentation in the forehead, temple, and cheeks. The adipose matrix component, which has a large percentage of collagen to give it strength, was used where rigid support was required, such as the chin, eyebrow arch, cheeks, and the top of the nose. Adipose collagen component was used for mesotherapy and injected under the skin for rejuvenation as this component was found to efficiently stimulate collagen synthesis. Finally, the stromal vascular fraction gel component was used for precise injection in fine lines around the eyes, lips, and the nasolabial folds as this has been shown to have enhanced regenerative capacity. It was also cryopreserved for touch-up injections as the healing process took place.